All right, in the previous lesson, I showed you how to extract one column from a data frame, which returns a series object. And in this lesson, I'll show you how to extract two or more columns from a data frame. Let's begin by re-executing the code to import our NBA CSV and previewing the first three rows with the head method. There we have our nine column data frame. So the syntax to select more than one column is going to be pretty similar. We're going to have our name of our data frame or the variable that's storing it. We're going to have square brackets to extract columns. But this time we need to tell it that we want to extract more than one. And the ideal Python data type, as I'm sure you guessed, to, to store more than one value is a list. So all we actually have to provide within these square brackets is a Python list. So that means we have to put another pair of square brackets. I'm just going to add some space here so we can see. I'm going to add another pair of square brackets and that's going to represent my internal Python list. So let's say I want to extract the name and the team columns. All I have to do is enter them, comma separate them. That's how you enter multiple values in a Python list. So here we have our two item Python list in square brackets. And that's what we want to feed inside the original square brackets which give us the extraction. So now when I execute this, we're going to pull out the name and the team columns from our original NBA data frame. Now, because we're extracting more than one column, pandas can no longer represent it as a series. So whenever we extract two or more columns from a data frame, we're going to get a new data frame returned back to us as the output. Here's another interesting thing. We can reverse the order of the columns simply by entering them in a different order within our list. So in this first example, name and team and the order in which they appear is identical to their order in our original NBA data frame. But if we wanted team to show up first and then the name column, we can just do something like this, put team first and name after, and it's going to extract these two columns still, but it's going to reverse their order and have the team show up on the left and then the name show up as the second column. And again, this is returning a brand new data frame, so all regular data frame methods and attributes apply. If we wanted to see the first three rows of this new data frame, we can call the head method. And there we have just the first three rows of our new two column data frame. Let's do a few more examples. Let's practice extracting uh, two more columns again. Let's do number and college. Once again, I'm going to write my data frame, which is NBA, square brackets to extract another pair of square brackets to start my internal Python list, and I want to extract the number column, comma, and the college column. And there we have the two columns from our original um, data frame. And this isn't limited to two columns, by the way. You can place as many or extract as many as you want. You just have to make sure to separate each column name with a comma within that internal list that goes inside those square brackets. So let's say I wanted to extract salary, then team, then name. I can do NBA, square brackets to extract, square brackets to indicate my Python list, salary, then team, then name. So I'm extracting three columns and I'm placing them in a different order than they were in the original NBA data frame. There I have the three columns in the order I asked for. It's a brand new data frame. Let's say I only want the last five rows. I can call the tail method. It is a data frame, so the method will work. And there's my last five rows of my new three column data frame consisting of just the salary, team, and name columns. So there is a uh, slightly more elegant way to do this. You might see this in other people's code. I like to use it when there's a large number of columns in my list. So when you think about it, what we're feeding to those square brackets after our data frame is a Python list. And we can just store that list in its own separate variable and feed that variable within the first pair of square brackets. That will avoid us using those two pairs of square brackets right next to each other, which is a little bit confusing when we look at it syntactically. This has always been a little bit eh, for me, you know? So what we can do here is create a Python list that we want to extract. Let's say we want to do the example above where we have salary, team, and name. So I can create that list right here, salary, team, and name, a regular Python list that I'm just going to assign to a separate variable, and I'm going to assign it to a variable called select. That's just a total random arbitrary variable name. You can call it whatever you'd like. And now that we have our list that we'd like to extract in a variable, we can just write NBA, square brackets, and then put in that list, which is stored in the select variable. And this is the exact same operation. It's going to extract those three columns. It just makes the syntax a little bit cleaner because you don't have to put two pairs of square brackets around 
uh, around that extraction. So that's how you select two or more columns from a single data frame, very similar to a single one, just includes that extra list. And in the next lesson, we'll dive into adding brand new columns to our existing data frames.